Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap. So what I'm going to be doing today is sort of a spring theme. I think most of you probably know I'm not a big fan of pastels. That doesn't mean I don't like them, they're just not a favorite. But it is, it's just been so wonderful here in West Virginia. Spring is in the air, things are coming out in bloom, it's just wonderful. So I'm going to be doing a pastel soap. I'm going to start by putting quite a good bit of titanium dioxide directly into the lye water to lighten everything. <clears throat> and that runs some risk by itself of glycerin rivers. So to reduce the risk of glycerin rivers, I did an even further steeper water discount than I normally do, which runs the risk of acceleration as well as extra TD. So I'm kind of running some risk here. With that risk, I'm going to be using Peach Prosecco as the, fra as the fragrance because I think it'll go greatly with these pastel colors. And this actually slows your trace down, so I'm hoping that will give me some time to work. And I am going to do a hanger tool, assuming I don't forget it, so I can pour quickly and then swirl things together. I'm going to be using five Nurture Soap Micas, and a couple of them will have a little bit of a a neon added to it. I'll show you the colors as I get ready to mix it. So give me just a minute to get everything mixed up and ready and separated and I'll be right back and we'll get started. Alright, so let's quickly get our colors mixed up. The first is Nurture Soap's Pink Vibrance, which I will try my best to keep you in here. We have a really white batter because I put a whopping two tablespoons of TD in this. So let's see what this does. Start with our pink, and I think that's just about right. So let me set that aside. Then next will be our purple, and this is Nurture Soap's Purple Vibrance. Good. So let's set that aside. The next is Nurture Soap's Green Vibrance. And most of you probably know green vibrance goes a funky green when it hits the light solution, but it always morphs back to its normal color. I don't know what it's going to do with all this TD. I imagine it probably will to a certain extent at least. Looks good. So let's set that aside. Next will be Nurture Soap's Orange Vibrance. And I'm going to give just a little splash of Brambleberry's Tangerine Wow to stabilize that because oranges are not the most stable in soap. And that really vibrant Tangerine Wow really stabilizes it. Put that away. Okay, now, I did not forget to put the neon in. I'm going to do it at the last minute because it's a powder. It has to be stick blended. I want to do it at the last minute. So then our final is going to be yellow, which is Nurture Soap's Yellow Vibrance. Once again, I'm going to add a little bit of the neon, which is Brambleberry's Fizzy Lemonade, to stabilize it because yellows are not the most stable in cold process, but I'm going to put it in at the very last minute. All right, 
set that out of the way. Now I'm going to give each of these a quick hit with a stick blender to fully emulsify it and for these last two to mix those neons in. <clears throat> quick hit to fully emulsify everything. Really just a few pulses. Our purple the same. Green the same. Then, on these last two, just give it a splash of the neons to anchor them and keep them more stable. And I'm talking like a sixteenth of a teaspoon, probably, especially this tangerine. Wow, my gosh, it's potent stuff. Maybe just a little bit more, maybe a half a teaspoon of the neon into the yellow. <clears throat> and just trap that under the stick blender head, burp it a little, and Should have done the yellow first. Let me clean this orange off the stick blender head. Because I don't want that mixed in my yellow. And finally, our yellow. Give it a quick pulse. Just trap that into the stick blender head. Burp it a little bit and give it a few pulses. And there, it's nice and stable. Now let's stir our fragrance in and I will determine if I'm going to stick blend it or just let it set up on its own. This fragrance behaves very, very well. But I think I'm probably going to hand stir it just the same. I am because this is right now I think a good consistency for pouring or close to it. Shut us down and wait about 60 seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, so the pour was just not at all what I expected. It started out really nice. Decided to do the traditional three stripes. But if you'll notice, I'm alternating. So I hopefully get a more even distribution in the logs. I'm starting at the top for one color and then I'm starting at the bottom for another color. My big concern even at this point is that this batter is so thin I'm afraid everything's going to blend together. This fragrance truly has to be stick blended. It behaves so incredibly well.
Even with a lot of titanium dioxide, that green vibrant still turns that icky color when it mixes with the lye solution, but it always turns back to its original color. So far, all I'm seeing is this peachy orangey color. Oh, that green. Ugh. And I think about one more pass should do it. Even at this point, it is so thin, those thin little streams of soap are just pouring right down into it, not landing on top. So I finally remembered the hanger tool, but decided not to do it because it's so thin. That ended up being a good decision. Okay, it's time to cut our soap, and I totally thought that I was going to have a ruined batch. I expected to throw this out today. That fragrance behaves so unbelievably well, it simply would not set up. Part of what I do to help this go through a full gel is I set it on this electric radiator behind me for 30 minutes. I mean, I always have for a long time. That's protocol. Put it on the electric radiator for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I unplug it, cover it up, and put a blanket over the top. After sitting on this radiator for 30 minutes on high, this was still just completely like water. It had not set up at all. That's why I didn't add the hanger swirl. And it still looks, I don't know, we might have a bunch of metal colors, but we're going to find out. But bottom line is, it's set up. It did turn to soap, and it's nice and hard. And it smells good. I love that fragrance, but it has to be stick blended. And I will definitely remember that the next time, because the last time I used it, I did not wait long enough, and it was too thin. So, the moment of truth. So, some of it looks nice, and some of it looks blended. So I'll cut about half of each log and see what we have. It's not bad. It's a little bland, but the colors didn't blend. Yeah, some of them did, kind of in here. It's not bad. So there's half of that one. Let's cut this other one and see what we have.
I think they're all going to look the same. So not quite what I expected, not what I had planned, but last night I thought I had a ruined batch. So I am delighted that it's set up and that I don't have a ruined batch. And it really set up firm too. It's nice and hard. So that's what I have this week. Like it or not, that's it. And folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Be blessed. Take good care of yourselves. And I'll see you next week. Bye.